Welcome back, this is Serial Snacks, and today I'm looking at another Minecraft mod, GLSL Shaders. Now this isn't entirely the Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders, although it sort of is, so just keep that in mind. I've actually made some modifications to the GLSL shader by copying in some of the shaders that I liked from the Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders, so it's kind of a combination of both. And a lot of people have been asking for a video, a tutorial on how to do it for 1.4.4. And the only big problem with that is that 1.4.5 is going to be coming out in less than a week. So this is going to be very temporary, although it may still work for 4.5. We'll see. But here's the gist of it, right? I downloaded Magic Launcher, and I've only got version 1.0. I don't even know if there's a newer version of it. But this is an easy way to install Optifine, and I've decided that this is kind of my best bet. Actually, this file doesn't belong. Delete it. Now... What I did is I installed or downloaded Optifine 1.4.4 HDUD1.zip, and I'm going to link the Minecraft forum link for that download to get it. And all you do in this particular Magic Launcher is you just click Add, and then you can pick the file that you want in your folder. So you can see the three files in my folder right here, the Magic Launcher, the Optifine version that I downloaded, and this other file that I'm going to be uploading to a Rapid Share. You'll have a Rapid Share link. I know people hate Rapid Share, but it's been the most reliable way for me to get stuff out there when tens of thousands of people are downloading it. So just bear with me on that because that's you just gotta you gotta really navigate Rapid Share carefully, or you'll be downloading their toolbar or whatever. Just be careful. So here's the GLSL 1.4.4, and like I said before, it's my modified version of the GLSL shader with some Sonic Ether elements that I liked and there were some things that, I, that it won't have and I'll show you that when I log into the game so it's all you do at the gist of it is that you add the two of them into your magic launcher mod list so on the main screen there'll be a button that says setup and the reason I'm not showing it is because it has my username and password and stuff and I don't want to show that off obviously you want to have Optifine first, and what I would do is click Test, and then View Log, make sure that it's installed correctly. It'll actually give you a status of OK here. And then install this zip file, the GLSL file that I have, and just make sure that you test it and make sure that the status is also OK. And that's it. And now when you're done, you click OK, and then just log into Minecraft on your Magic Launcher. And oh, I will, I'm not going to show that right now, but the it still adds all the shading to the game and looks just as great in my opinion as Sonic Ether's unbelievable shaders now keep in mind that this particular mod is very resource intensive so if you don't have a real a fairly new computer it's going to it's going to cause you some lag issues in some cases people actually are having black screens they are having issues with the pixels not animating correctly and that sort of thing a lot of that is attributable to your graphics card and your computer processing power uh, I have a fairly new computer, an i5 processor with a 560 uh, Ti card and NVIDIA, and I still am brought down to about 25 to 30 frames per second depending on the settings that I have. So uh, your mileage may vary, but just keep in mind that this is not something that you necessarily, most people will be able to run very well. So just keep that in mind, although it is amazing when you get it, and, and it's great for stuff like screenshots, it's great for stuff cin like cinematics you want to do, and that sort of thing. So uh, it's a good mod. All right, I'll be right back and I will show you what it looks like in game and some other options that you can do in Optifine to make your experience a little bit better. Okay, now we're in Minecraft and you can see all the sh shading is in. This is actually morning in the game and it's pretty impressive again. Now, one thing I will say is that, well, the water is actually a little bit better this time around because we're using the GSL 1.4.4 shaders. I believe it looks a little bit better. I didn't have as many issues this time around either. It was a very simple process. Again, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments. I try to respond to all the comments that I can. You know, really, the thanks for this particular version of the shaders really goes out to Carionix, who has taken Sonic Ether's shaders and kind of continued the work on it. So I can't take any credit for making these shaders, but I will try to help you guys however I can. You can see the the god rays are pretty crazy. Now, that some of the things I don't have in, in this particular version are, of course, motion blur. And I don't mind that. I don't really like the motion blur to some extent. And, you know, the other thing I don't have is depth of field. So the depth of field is not working in this particular thing. But really what I'm looking for is the shadows and the lighting. 
because I think that's enough for me. The depth of field I think is a little distracting and the motion blurring is also distracting for me. So I've just got it set that way because that's the way I like it. And you know, if you want to get those two options, you have to do a little bit more kind of research on it and how you can adjust the shaders yourself to get that because this particular version does not have that. And the water is pretty incredible. You can see it's actually rippling a little bit over there. Now let me do time set. Let's see, I don't know, like around noon or so. Now I, I like this as well, but you can also see that the shadows are falling straight down and that's pretty cool. So again, oh, the one last thing. I, I want to I wanna show you the other texture pack. So Optifine lets you change texture packs while you're playing. And the Sfax BD Craft is actually working and it actually works with bump mapping as well. So let's take a look at that. I know a lot of people like BD Craft. And those other texture packs that I've linked in 1.4.2 will also work in this respect. So here's the, here's this. Now let me do morning again, because then you get a real idea of the bump mapping. You can see that in the dirt. You can see how the dirt's kind of got the sand, has got lines in it, and the bump mapping in the rocks here, and that sort of thing. So the other striking feature is, of course, this Millennium Falcon over here, which has the rock. It looks like rock, I guess, that they used, and it bump mapped. So, very cool, and that is the video. Now, when you go into Optifine, just make sure that you have certain settings set. Now, a lot of people say that their game is too bright. One thing that I think they're doing wrong is not having some of these settings correct. Now, detail, it doesn't matter too much. Animations, I have all of them on. And, of course, right now I'm barely getting 30 frames per second because of that, I think. The other thing is you don't want to have your view distance past far. I've got it at far right now. And the other thing you want to do is custom colors should be set to on. If you turn it off, you'll see what happens here. Actually, it may hang up on me if I do it. Ah, there we go. Now, a lot of people say their game's too bright. Well, there is the reason why, because you have custom colors on. That is the number one reason why that occurs. The other reason is because of the texture pack that you're using could have issues. Uh, so just make sure you have custom colors on that's a big one also natural textures doesn't really matter too much and you don't really want to have connection connected textures on either it looks like I do um, the other thing you don't want to have is anisotropic filtering because that will make your water look purplish and anti-aliasing will just really slow you down more than anything so hope you enjoyed my quick look at Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders the new version for 1.4.4 so hope you can get it working just keep working on it and put your comments in my video if you have any questions. Thanks for joining me.